Today I've got a Poundland haul, just a small haul. Um, popped Poundland, had to do a little bit of shopping, um, take it into the hospital for my mom. Fortunately, we knew before we went, we got permission to take some pieces like juice, tissues and toiletries in for my mom because the hospital, and most of the wards are on lockdown anyway through um, flu virus and COVID um, and to collect her washing. So that's what we did. Um, but I wanted to um, go into Poundland, you know, um, to have a quick look. Now, I will say um, prices vary. So decoration, you get any prices wrong. Um, I will try and tell you what the price was full price and then um, on sale. Some items might even be reduced even more um, in the near future. I don't know, but I don't know when I'm going to go back out. This is the last day of Hubby's holiday. He goes back to work tomorrow. Our son's been back a few days anyway, but it seems as though everybody's going back. So I'm going to just be left with the phoning because I can't go to the hospital anyway. So I'm going to start off with me fairy liquid. Um, I believe this was £2.50, as you know. I do like the fairy one so I wanted to pick that up because we've been getting through a lot because obviously with everybody being home i um, been doing more washing up um, picked up tissues um, these I'm going to keep up for a friend's granddaughter because she's into friends I'm sure she's probably aware of these I bought these are the tissues and um, obviously friends I hadn't seen them previously um, and I also got the um, ones that is legally blonde. I hadn't seen these before. These were a pound each. Even our granddaughter likes um, a packet of tissues and I got them in different ones. I think a favorite is um, Peter Rabbit that I got um, a while back. But so there's two lots of tissues and they're quite handy to keep on you and in your bag or backpack. Right, I've got two lots of Radox. I've got the Muscle Soak and I have got the um, Feel Relaxed because I haven't bought Radox for a while. And these were 125 each. Um, I used to stock up when they used to be about 90p, but that's about, I think, the most reasonable I've seen them. Um, so I got, the, it, the packaging is a bit, um, you know, um, squished. Um, these were 50 pence so I presume they were a pound originally um, it's like this blue color this is um, for a friend of mine um, so yeah she's not well at the moment so um, I'll keep those up for when I can send them to her I've picked these up you can make little rings but they are actually garland ties and I think these might have been a pound originally. Then they were put down to 50p. I bought two lots because they were down to 25p. But I could always make small rings, as you know, and you can put them on parcel, especially with um, plain brown parcel paper and I put a little bit of holly or something on there or some berries, you know, and decorate besides using them for what they are meant to be. So these were 25 pence each i got some annuals for our granddaughter because they're not specifically christmas um these could be even kept up um for when i see her or even easter baskets because that's what i'm doing i'm going to do this one first i think these might have been two pounds each i'd like to say the annual this is the Barbie My Secret Journal. This was actually down to 25 pence. It might be a little bit on the older side for because she's five, but there's all sorts of things that she can um, do in here and information she can um, write in and everything because she's very much into Barbie. She had Barbie for a birthday and um, she, there's bits and pieces to fill in um, and, um, you know, like a diary this one was actually 25 pence um i've also got two more here and again i think they were originally two pounds each these were actually hubby was saying how many books are you buying but these two were 10p each 
Mm. Yeah, and as I said, 2022, um, not exactly Christmas related, so they will do. She's very much into dinosaurs, raw some dinosaurs, um, again, 2002. Um, annual and this has got lots of things um in there um color puzzles let's face it and it's hardback it's an annual so um i could always keep them up as said some when she comes um here or things as i said i could even add into uh, her easter sort of um basket and there's lots of information there. The other one is Paw Patrol, um, something else that she watches on TV. And again, this is one of those, um, you know, puzzle ones, do it yourself. And being hard back, I mean, can you really uh, grumble at that? I had thought, <laughs> but we was in a little bit of a rush. I had thought of getting a couple more, duplicating on all of them, especially the Tempe ones, because I could just imagine cutting these out and using them for um, craft pieces for our granddaughter and everything like that. But there you go. So as I said, lots of puzzles and say they were Tempe each. Can't grumble at that, can you? And that one was 20. I did re originally think that was 10p, but that came up as 25p for some reason. I suppose it's because it's Barbie, but these came up as 10p each. Um, yeah, so really pleased with that bargain. Um, something I think these were originally £2.50 each down to 125 Trolls World Tour again. Originally, I was thinking about keeping them up for Christmas um, this year. Yeah, it sounds awful, doesn't it? But these are not Christmas wrapping, which I do like when I can buy gifts after Christmas that are not specifically Christmas because I can keep them up. They can either be a treat when she comes to stay or visit, or I can put them in her Easter basket. So I haven't actually watched um, Trolls World Tour. I've seen the first one and I've seen the Christmas um, short um, film, but I know this is on my plan to watch. So there we go. So I've got two of these, and like I said, there's Poppy, I know Poppy. <laughs> so um, I thought, even again, I'm well on the way if I want to for Easter basket. So they were 125 each. This is why, and as I said, I could have held on because you don't know they might slash the prices, but then again, I think they get then limited of sale items. Um, I saw this before Christmas and I love this, but no, I'm not going to keep it myself. It's a um, makeup bag, Forest Wild, in this lovely green and gold. They had a full range of these. This was down to £1.50, so I presume it was originally £3. And I know they had lots of pieces, so I might check another pound lend out, see if I can get any other bits to go with it. This would make obviously a nice Christmas um, sort of basket. I did actually pick up, and I think this was originally 150 down to 75p, is the Winter Berries Soap Bar on the wooden sleigh. So I thought that was a nice gift, even if I don't get anything else to go with it. Um, but you never know, got that wind. <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty good. So they're sort of things that I collect and put together the same sort of um, range. Um, I did pick up some um, Disney decorations. Um, these probably will go down in price, but again, dare I risk it. Um, they are Disney. I have got two, four, six, eight. I've got eight, and these were 50 pence each. I've got two sets. So I've got a set of four for myself and a set for our granddaughter. And um, especially as we're playing um, Dreamlight, Disney Dreamlight all over Christmas and everything. So we've got, um, it looks like it's um, Beauty and the Beast. So it's that one. They are double-sided. So that's that one. I mean, I remember um, the larger ones like Star Wars and what else? There was another one that they put down to 10 pH years ago. But I, I say it's whether you risk it or not and i thought i wanted them and i thought well i'm going to be disappointed if i can't get so i've got two of those one for myself one for my granddaughter um then we've got this one um this must be cinderella i'm not actually on 
all the princesses that much but that looks like it could be um cinderella i'm to get one of these wrong on tie so yep so two of those right this must be jasmine i'd like to say um yeah so again i've got two of those i had to untangle tangle all of them before i showed you so yep if they bring them down even more and i can get some more i will i think even though my disney tree that goes up in our uh, main bedroom is more mickey and minnie um these could also go on my um main tree because I said um it's been very much disney this christmas when we can so this one we've got that's got bell chip and mrs potts on so that's those so i think they are really sweet i must say for 50 ph so i'm gonna say that these weren't um a pound i think they were one pound 50. i am not 100 percent sure but you probably know better than me um, because I sort of ignored a lot of the um, Christmas decorations because I felt they're all like 150 each or singly so I thought that was really good so what was that about four pounds so I thought that was really good for eight decorations especially as they've been Disney on the Disney range this has got Merry Christmas on I presume this was two pounds originally it's got Merry um Merry and Bright, it's got the princesses on. It's what I call a, I mean, this will be fine for me. It's a smaller mug, but I thought this would be um, really good for our granddaughter um, this Christmas. <laughs> and I could put something in there, maybe some Christmas socks, um, sweets or anything like that. She can either take it home or she can have it here. So sometimes I only want a small one, but this is quite small. So I think this is really good and should be six by the time Christmas comes round this year. So I've got that one. Talking about mugs, hubby was saying, they better not be for you. And I said, no, they are actually gifts. Although I do like this one. You might recognize this one with the lid. Yes, these will look nice just to finish a hamper off. And this is what I'm keeping in mind. Um, I, my hampers went down really well, my little gift baskets. So I think that's the way I may go again this year rather than stockings because some of the gifts um, were a little bit on the large size um, unless you took all the packaging out to put in a stocking, do you know what I mean? But if I got it at the back of my mind and prepare through the year, then I can add bits in. So this was down to a pound. So I presume it was two pounds or I thought these were three pounds, but I can't be 100% sure um, because I refrained from buying one. Um, but this is not for myself. This is actually a gift. And I think, you know, I'm really pleased with that. So, oops. So another mug I've got is this one um, with love on and this one is in pink and gold. Um, it's got the socks in there. This was down to a pound as well. I've got a sneaky feeling this might have been maybe three pounds. I don't know originally, but what I thought that would make a nice Easter gift. I'm really pleased with that one. So yeah, so I've got that one. And then we finish off, I saw these, they did have the Santa, but I liked the tree. Um, this one I got for £1.50, so I think they were £3. It's not that big, I mean, it won't hold a lot of cookies, but I could see that in a hamper with some cookies, um, maybe some fancy teas, coffee and hot chocolate and things like that, even maybe even a Christmas mug. So I think that's everything. So I'm really pleased with what I purchased. Um, so I'm sorry this is probably going up a little bit late. Um, I'm hopefully gonna put it up tonight. Um, if not, it might be a day or so before it gets done because it's getting late now. And um, yeah, I wanna chill out and everything. Um, except for, I sort of um, missed New Year's Day um, due to the fact that I actually caught up on my videos and I just did that um, obviously um, giving you best wishes for the new year because by the time I uploaded that it was the early hours I think I didn't get to bed till 
like one o'clock in the morning so yeah so i'm sure you could understand that i didn't do any more video on new year's day so i think tomorrow might be a catch up and a reset day so hopefully you'll follow me for that hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye